Welcome back to Hampshire. Who left this shit on the floor? I was a good boy all year long, so the shit fairy visited and left me this bounty. Now, of course, this is the life support battery for Megahab. I did some napkin math that indicated it would power the pump alone for 66 hours. But I didn't account for two things. I didn't account for AC conversion losses because it's going through an inverter. And I didn't account for the additional loads on the battery of heaters and LED lights. So to simulate the loads of the lighting and heaters, I plugged in an LED lamp and these heated earmuffs I made last winter, which should have a similar draw. And I left it running for 10 hours the first day, and then I had to go to bed, and I didn't want to leave it running overnight because then I wouldn't see where it was at when it ran out, time-wise. And I ran it for... Nine and a half hours the second day. So if you have those two together, ten hours first day, nine and a half. It's nineteen and a half hours. That's exciting, man. I mean, it's not sixty-six hours, but I'm excited. I don't think you understand how fucking hard my nipples are getting. It's not a straightforward question either, because each individual nipple is at a slightly different level of hardness. There will be a quiz on this later. Anyways, that's. I consider that a good result because it, it really only has to power all this shit overnight. That's like eight or nine hours until the sun comes up and hits the solar panel, at which point it will generate enough power not only to keep the loads running but also to charge the battery. So I would estimate it's, it's a little over twice what I need in terms of the battery capacity. Um, I've been thinking about how to solve the theft problem because if you leave expensive equipment sitting in public by just... A body of water, tweakers are going to find it and pawn it for meth. So my solution to that that I came up with, I'm putting it up on the screen right now, is the LSB, or Life Support Buoy. It's basically a Rubbermaid style tub with a solar panel on the lid, and it floats out in the middle of the lake or pond, where it's at least somewhat harder to steal, and you can maybe disguise it as like a goose or a duck or something. And the solar panel charges... No, it, well, it's got pass-through, so the solar panel powers the loads, the heater, the light, and the air compressor. I would, I would need to use a USB air compressor with it. While also charging the battery bank, which is what powers it ostensibly overnight. Now, I don't know for sure if the parts I've selected will do the job as well as this battery. Uh, a lot of these... Aquarium air pumps have a small battery built in, and they claim they can run for like 14 hours during an outage. And the reason they can achieve run times at least close to that is because there's no AC conversion step. USB is, is DC power, so you can go straight DC to DC from the battery to the load. Uh, so I have reason to believe that it will be more efficient. I'm not sure if it'll do the job. I'd have to build it and test it, really. But e even if it can't do the job well enough to be used for Megahab, it would be a cool asset for when I want to do missions with like underwater vehicles for hamsters or smaller habitats like Aqua Bubble. I definitely at least want to build it and try it out. And even if I can't use it the way I want to, I can at least use the USB air compressor with this battery, which would be more efficient and give me a better runtime. Um, it won't push air down as far. Five feet's pretty good though. This pushes air down 8 feet, but 5 feet is, is, it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you measure it in terms of like a percentage of, of how tall you are and you stand up and you visualize water that deep, for hamsters, that's pretty deep water. So I definitely want to pick up that USB air pump, and I already have the solar panel. I just need the, the USB air pump, the plastic tub, and the power bank uh, to put that together, and, and having more equipment so I have more options would, would definitely be a blessing.